React Router, the standard routing library for React. If all the React libraries manage to get deleted from the internet with the exception of one, well that exception better be React Router, because that is the only library that is preventing React from becoming just another dead framework. Hell, React wouldn't even be considered a framework without React Router. But in order to understand why it's awesome, we need to go back in time to the Bronze Age when jQuery was king. Meanwhile, the ancient Egyptians, whenever they wanted to navigate from the home page to the about page, they would send out a request to the server for about.html and the entire page would reload just to display everything. Now they already invented a little thing called a fetch request and so when the renaissance came they thought of new ideas such as what if we intercept this request and keep all the pages inside of the browser giving our website a more fluid application feel to it, changing the responsiveness of websites forever from websites to web apps. Now in this video we are going to take a look at everything there is to know about React Router so don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let's get started with React Router. Now over in VS Code I have a clean React app open with a h1 tag saying hello React Router. Now I've also taken up the time to create some components where the h1 tag is identical to the name of the component. Now the purpose of each one of these components is that each component will be its own page. So inside of my app.js file I'm just going to import each one of these components and I'll also import the React Router DOM library. Now the first thing I want to import from it is the browser router. Now the browser router is the parent component when it comes to routing in React. So all the links and all the routes will be inside of this browser router component. So I'll just remove the h1 tag and paste in my browser router. And now inside of the browser router, I'll place in my nav tag where I will have all my links. But unlike traditional HTML where we use the anchor tag to insert a link, in React Router we use the link component. Now the anchor tag uses the href attribute to point towards a specific route, but the link component has the to attribute or to prop that will take in the route just like the href attribute. Now I'll also place in the links to the about page and the help page. And inside of my browser, I should see those three links showing up. But once I navigate towards one, of them, it will not change the view of my application and that is because I am not pointing any of these links to a specific component. But notice that whenever I click one of these links, the browser does not refresh. And so I will need to attach one of these links towards the component that I want to render whenever that specific link has been clicked. And in order to do that, I'm going to import two more components and that is the routes component and the route component. Now I'll paste the routes component wherever I want my changing components to be displayed. And in my case, I want it to be underneath my navigation bar. And the routes component will take in a route component and it will be self-enclosing and it will have two attributes. The first is the path which will point towards the route that you want this component to be displayed in. Next, it will also take in the element component, and that will just be set equal to the component that you want to be displayed when navigating towards this route. And I'll also place a route for the about page and a route for the home page. And just like that, I can now navigate between the home, about, and the help page without my page refreshing. But what happens if I place in a route that does not exist? Well, in that case, I can create a separate route where the path is equal to star, and also what the star means is if the route does not exist in my list of routes, then in that case display this component and in my case it is the error 404 component. Now you might be wondering why exactly does my navigation bar stay on the top while the rest of the page keeps on changing? And the answer to that question is because the navigation bar exists outside of the routes component. So this is where all the pages should be displayed and if I decided to say add a footer at the end of my page, then the footer will not change and the navigation bar will not change but the rest will which can be very useful if we have certain parts of a page that is coming among multiple pages, such as a search bar or in our case, the navigation bar. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is something called route parameters. And route parameters are simply URLs that change. For example, if I open up YouTube, and navigate towards a channel that I'm subscribed to, you will see that the URL for the channel contains the channel username. And this is exactly what a route parameter is. You see, the creators of YouTube did not create a specific route in their code called Pedro Technologies. No, Pedro created a YouTube channel and he called his YouTube channel Pedro Technologies and therefore he gave it the ID of Pedro Technologies 
and that is where this route came from. And I could simply put in a bunch of text for a route that does not exist and if I search for it I will get an error message telling me that the page does not exist. So we want to create certain pages that our users can create such as a profile page and the route could contain their username or their ID in order to locate their account. At the moment if I go to my URL and I type in forward slash users forward slash one two three I will get a 404 page telling me that this page does not exist. So in order to fix this I can create a route in react and give it a path of forward slash users where the users does not change but I'll give it a second path as well and I'll put in front of the forward slash a colon. Now anything that comes after the colon is a route that can change or as in the programming world it is a route parameter and this route parameter needs to have a name so I can reference it later on and I will call this route parameter user. Also I will need to specify the component that I want to render in this route and that component will be the user component. And as you can see once I save it I will get the user component displayed to the screen regardless of the route that I navigate to that is after forward slash users. But my routes should be more dynamic. I mean each time I navigate towards a different route it should give me a different user. So in order to implement this we will need to gain access to the route parameter. So inside of my user component I can gain access to the route parameter by importing the use params hook from react router dom. Now the use params hook returns an object and that object would have properties with the names of the parameters that is inside of the URL and in the case with the user component that would be user. So inside of my user component I can now do something like maybe send a fetch request to get the user data from the database and then display it into my JSX. And now each time I navigate to a different URL I will get that route parameter displayed in my component. And now the last thing I'd like to show you is how to implement redirects in React Router. Now redirects are kind of different from clicking on different links because whenever I click on a link it will take me to a specific page but a redirect could be for example whenever we submit a form it will take you to a success page telling you that your form has been successfully submitted. We can implement this in React Router by importing the use navigate hook. Now in order to navigate to a different page we need to create a constant and I'll call it navigate and we set it equal to the use navigate hook and we use this hook in an event in which a redirect should occur. For example I could create a button and I will provide to it an on click event and whenever this button is clicked I will call my use navigate hook that takes in one argument and that is the route that I want to navigate to. Now if I go to the help page and click submit it will automatically navigate me back to the home page. And I think I'm going to end things there with React Router, so please make sure to leave a thumbs up to the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and on that bombshell, thanks for watching.